What's going on my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And in today's class, we're gonna be going over negative numbers. So handling addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, handling negative numbers is really a key part of the ASVAB. So join me tonight, tonight's free class. Use that link right there or somewhere here or in the description of the video to sign up for tonight's free class. It starts at 6 p.m., it goes for two hours and you get a free practice test with video solutions to go along with it. So I don't know why you would say no to that. Again, I know schedules are tough, but make sure to sign up to get the free practice test at the very least so you can keep learning and raising your score. So we're gonna take a look at these problems here and I'm gonna show you how this is not as tough as it might look. There are rules that we need to follow and as long as we follow those rules, we're in a good spot. So let's go ahead and get started here, starting off with five plus seven. I mean, I think we can all agree, this one's pretty straightforward. We feel pretty good about that and we will have ourselves a positive 12. I think we can all agree on that nice and easy. But what happens when we start including those negatives, like negative five plus negative seven right up here? How does that look? Well, let's go ahead and just first take a look at five plus seven. Let's just think about how this works. Because when it comes to five plus seven, you're basically saying, hey, if this is zero right here, you're going forward by five, then you're going forward seven more, right? So if you think of it that way, then yeah, you're gonna end up at 12. But if we slide it over here, what about negative five plus negative seven? Well, it's the same idea, just a different direction. Remember that negatives really just show you direction. So if you're at zero and you're going back by five because it's a negative five, what ends up happening is, hey, back five and then back seven, well, where are you? You're at 12, but the negative direction, a negative 12. So it's the same idea here, my party people. Same idea. Remember that positives and negatives really are just telling you about direction. And so a positive five plus a positive seven, positive 12. A negative five plus a negative seven, well, you're going backwards, so negative 12. So same deal there, except again, negative 12 right there. Now, how does that differ from negative, negative five plus seven? How is that different? Well, think of it like this. Remember, when you're adding or subtracting, really what you're doing is you're going in specific directions. So if I have a negative five and a positive seven, think of it like this. If I take five steps backwards and seven steps forward, where do I end up? Well, when you think about it, the five steps backwards and the five steps forward will cancel out, but you still have two more steps to make up seven. So what you're gonna have here is a positive two. And now there's another rule that we can follow here, you know, a more concrete rule. When you're adding two numbers and you're adding one positive and one negative, really what you're doing is you're just gonna subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the bigger number. You heard of that before? Again, when you're adding numbers that are opposite in sign, you just subtract the numbers and you'll keep the sign of the bigger numbers. So think of it like this, a negative plus a positive. Let's follow the rule. 7 minus 5 is going to be 2. And you're going to keep it as a positive 2 because the 7 is the bigger number. The 7 is the one that's positive. Let's try another example out here. So we have 5 minus 7. Again, we have a positive number and we're subtracting 7. You can think of this like adding a negative 7 because again, subtracting and adding a negative, same deal. So you have 5 minus 7. All right, well, what's going to happen there? Same deal. Take the difference, 5 minus 7 or seven minus five is gonna be two, but this time it's gonna be a negative two because the seven is the bigger number and you'll keep it negative. So right there, negative two. So here's another way to think about it. Again, five minus seven is the same thing as saying five plus negative seven. They're the same idea. And remember, when you're adding opposite signs, just subtract them because you're canceling out what they have in common. If I'm going five to the left and five to the right, those will cancel, but you have the extra two over here that's gonna make it negative two. Let's go ahead and keep it going here. Let's see what we got. Negative five minus seven, is this different? Yeah, it is different. Because if you think about it, another way to say this is negative five plus negative seven. So remember this, whenever you're adding the same signs, really what you're doing is you're just gonna add the numbers and keep the signs. Just like that. So again, five and seven, that's like saying, hey, negative five, going back five, 
then adding negative 7, so going back another 7, that's going to end up at negative 12. So doesn't that look familiar? Yes, it does. Right here, these two right here. These are both the same thing. These are both the same thing. Five, negative 5 plus a negative 7, it's the same thing as negative 7 minus, or negative 5 minus 7. These are the same exact thing. Notice how I just wrote it over here. Same deal. Same deal. Now, I'm really hoping that you can join me for tonight's class because we're going to be going over these rules nice and easy to give you a good chance of just looking at this without all of the stress that we typically look at negative numbers with. So, 7 minus 5. Well, I think a lot of us can tell that that's going to be 2. A lot of us can look at that and say, yeah, for sure. But look at the difference here. 5 minus 7 versus 7 minus 5. Same answer, 2, but one of them is going to be negative because you're subtracting more than you have here. And here you're subtracting less than you have. But notice, you can consider this. You can consider both of these. Let me write this over here. 7 plus negative 5. You can consider it that way. It still follows the same exact rule. 7 minus 5 is 2. And you'll keep it positive 2 because the 7 is the bigger number. And then lastly over here, negative 7 minus 5. Do these look different? Yeah, the different order. But you'll get the same answer. Going back 5 and going back 7 is the same as going back 7 and going back 5. Same idea. And you can rewrite this over here as negative 7 plus negative 5. You're adding the same signs. So 7 plus 5 is 12, but keep it negative because they are both negative. Same idea. And so this is just a nice little run through of the difference between adding and subtracting with negatives. But in today's class, we're going to be going over multiplication as well, division as well, throwing in some exponents to really help you build that comfort that you need to deal with these numbers the right way. So again, don't hesitate. Go ahead and go to that link right there, asvab.info slash class. That way you can register for the free practice test, get those video solutions, and get into tonight's class. That way we can keep raising that score and get that job you want. I'm always happy to help you out. I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach, and I'll see you there. Let's get to it. And let's have fun. And by the way, if you need my phone number, let me go ahead and throw my phone number right over here. Here is my phone number if you have any questions about this, 567-698-8867. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's have some fun, and let's ace the ASVAB.